The world of social media influencers goes deeper than anyone could have ever predicted. A single post could be worth thousands upon thousands of dollars. But what does it take to be a player in this terrifying game of gratification? What does it take to influence in the new paranormal? Unlike Twitter, social media contains unlimited characters. One character in particular is my guest today. Please welcome digital influencer Kevin Fong. Hi, Lonesome. What's underneath that sheet? Kevin, how would you describe the content you produce? Gay, funny, things you can watch on the toilet. <laughs> hmm. I'm thinking of starting a dating app for chickens. Not a full-time job, just a way to make hens meet. <laughs> who are some of your favorite collaborators? Peter, who is also known as Pepe, Danny Joe, and then there's this new um, creator that he's really small, but his name is Young Jay, and he's just always shirtless. Oh, here's a scary story for you. A 19-year-old teen was admitted because he was addicted to social media. He's currently being tweeted in the hospital. <laughs> oh, I kill myself. <clears throat> what are some of your favorite social media creations? My three favorite social media creations that I've personally done, I'll go from uh, my top three, starting with number three has been the whisper challenge that I did with Pepe, where we both had to wear headphones and guess each other's words. And it is probably the hardest I have ever laughed in my entire life because we're basically trying to guess and read each other's lips, but we can't hear what they're saying. <laughs> bird fish, bird fish, fish bird. Purge! Capper! Purse first. Purging. Purse first. Purse first. Push. Purse up. First. Are you saying this? No! Oh, okay, okay, no, okay. no, 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 no. Purse first. Purr. Purr. Purring. Purr. Purse. 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 First. First. Yes, yes. Purse. 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 First, first, yes, 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 first, yes. first. <laughs> How splendid. So I remember we were doing it and then on the side, our producer who put this all together is li like literally had to leave the other room because we're literally just screaming at each other for three minutes. Uh, and I probably watch that video like once a month because it's just pure gold in my opinion. My second one that I created was one with Danny Joe where he had to guess gay terms. Now imagine a person that's not from America, very straight and has very little to no education about gay culture. So him trying to guess what a twink is or what an otter is, I think was so funny to me because first of all, he didn't even know what an otter was in general. So how do you explain what an otter is? First of all, what the animal is on top of how, what it means in the gay community. Wow, you guys have your own dictionary. Do you know what an otter is in general? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm still a fall. <laughs> otter is like a furry beaver. Grown a uh, hairy gay person. <laughs> oh my god, yes! I want to give that to you. Otter is more of a skinnier gay guy that is hairy. So oh. he's like slender, but hairy. Not necessarily young or old. Age to me isn't a depending factor. You're on a roll. Bring it on. And then my number one uh, internet creation has been um, the meme, what gay dinosaurs sound like.
Yes! <laughs> I love that one. That one I did on my couch, on this exact couch, like last year, I just spoke into my phone and I said like, yes, like five different times into my phone. And then I just like layered it on top of a Jurassic Park uh, clip. And then it like caught on fire like a month later. And it, I knew it got big cause it got onto like black Twitter and it got onto straight people meme culture. So I was like, oh, okay, we're broadening, we're, we're broadening our like our horizons, our communities. So, and then it was like to the point where every other day, another friend would be like, oh my God, here's a link to your meme. This is where, this is where I saw it. And it got onto like these really, really big meme accounts. So that's cool that my voice got out there in so many different forms. What is a social media marketer's favorite drink? Brandy. Do you have any horror stories about being an influencer? Red flags of working with creators. Do they respond to texts and do they respond to emails? I don't care how big your following is. I don't care where you're at in your career. This is something that you're going to be doing for a long time, which is responding to emails and responding to texts. So I've had people that literally just loop in either their management, agent, PR, assistant, lawyer into something. And it's like, girl, you can just tell me what your shirt size is. Like you do not need to loop in your assistant just to tell me what your shirt size is. So I feel if you feel their ego is like super big and they are trying to put themselves up here, red flag, red flag. Did you know Health food grocery stores don't like to boost content. They rely on organic reach. <laughs> what was the most rewarding thing that happened as a result of your influence? Honestly, the extremely kind messages that people have DM'd me and people really take their time to go out of their way to just to say, hey, that meme really made me laugh today. Thank you so much for just putting a smile on my face during 2020. I've also had people that I've become closer with that aren't my friends and they'll just send me like care packages. And it's been really, really, really like nice to know that they are just giving back for me spending a couple moments out of my day to put out like a meme about like, something super adult and sexual. So I'm like, hey, I'll take it. Guess what, Kevin? It's time for the lightning round. Boo! <laughs> Favorite movie? Wizard of Oz, because Girl Those Shoes. Mm. Favorite live concert experience? 1997, Spice Girls Live. Who did you go with to that concert? My dad, my brother, and sister. And I wore platform shoes, honey. If everyone in the world had to get married by a certain age, what age would that be? 30, or even 35. Girl, you do not know who you are until you are probably 30 years old. Also, just speaking from experience, some of my friends, mm -mm, they didn't last, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Most embarrassing store you might be seen shopping at. Michael's. That craft store, I always got a coupon. What was the longest your hair has ever been? Like down to here. I used, you know, swoopy emo bangs here going like this every five seconds. Yeah. What is your most used emoji? Oh, you know, the eggplant emoji. What is the first career you dreamed of having as a kid? I wanted to just be an artist. And to me, it was just painting on a canvas, wearing like a beret. Like that's what I thought an artist did. And that's what I wanted to be. Favorite Disney princess. Okay. I go back and forth between Little Mermaid, Ariel, and Belle as like my favorites. I don't know why. Would you rather be in an elevator full of noisy high school students or an elevator full of judgmental middle-aged men? If I had to choose, probably the teens. Because all I got to do is just tune them out 
and then just like move on because I know that I was like, I used to be one of those teens. So I think I can be more forgiving, but judgy men, I don't got time for that. Mm -mm. Oh, very, very appropriate answer, Kevin. And thank you so much for continuing to influence our spirits. Oh my God, thank you, Lonesome. Thank you so much for having me. I hope we could do this again. My friends, I must ghost you for now. Until next time, goodbye.